Hello, I'm Asif Farouk of Finextra, and today I'm with George Stein of Ace Software. So George, thank you for joining me. Pleasure. What are some of the key problem areas of exceptions management currently that need to be approached? Well, anything that stops a payment uh, results in expense, and there's been a lot of study uh, over the years about that. What we think is that it's time for banks and indeed large corporates, but especially banks, to look at ways to more intelligently approach the problem. Um, and our approach involves using artificial intelligence to use the content of a, of a financial message to repair the message automatically, mm -hmm. record what's been done, but then send it on its way. For audit purposes and everything, you're, it's completely transparent, but basically um, it enables the, the process to be completely automated from end to end. Okay, so um, it could be said that intelligent automation, this is quite a relatively new aspect to this, this industry. Um, what are some of the, the challenges then and the opportunities that exist with it? Mm. Well, the technology, we've, we've been using the technology um, to, to filter payments for sanction screening for, for, for a long time now. Mm -hmm. And the same technology can be used to, as I mentioned, automatically repair messages. But in doing so, um, the system can uh, use parameters in the message to create negative exceptions that can be priced, but also positive exceptions. And positive exceptions are things like um, ordering party or beneficiaries. It could be something like a charity payment that enjoys a special price. And on that basis, that's why we talk about the opportunity to create and quickly roll out new products based on the information that's in financial messages. So the problems, I don't want to focus too much on the problems, I want to focus more on the opportunities that exceptions, both negative and positive, present to banks to generate new revenue yeah. and at the same time save costs through automation. Okay, it's um, interesting you mentioned costs. Is, do you think it's the reduction of cost which is the biggest driver for development or is it something else? Well, banks have done so much over the last years to, to reduce costs. Um, you, you get to a point where you have to look at the other side of the equation and look at revenue opportunities. Um, it's, it's very difficult with legacy systems that are very inflexible, that are, that are difficult to change, they're difficult to integrate with one another. Mm -hmm. um, working in that kind of an environment, it's very challenging to develop new products. And what we are talking about is a, a low impact way to um, use the content of payment messages moving through an intelligent platform and like I said pick up on parameters and financial messages and use those to create effectively new products.